Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been quite some time that I uploaded any video, but this video is going to be very helpful. So stay tuned with me. Now here I am going to discuss a detailed discussion of question number 5a from the CBSE sample question paper 2023-24 based on the writing section that is analytical writing. Now let's have a look at the question first. Now this is the question. Setting of class 10 is contesting for the post of a junior school captain. So junior school captain in the upcoming student council elections. And given below are her character traits graphic that is shared in the public domain by the school counselor for the awareness of student voters. So here we can have a look at the character traits. Now what we have to do. So all settings peers, they have been asked to write a paragraph in about 120 words analyzing these traits to either support or oppose a candidature. So looking at these traits, you have to write whether you would like to vote for her or you would not vote for her. So as one of her peers, write this analytical paragraph by selecting some of the traits that support your analysis. So here the beginning line is also given and the ending line is also given. So you may begin as, as a responsible student voter. I believe Sering possesses or if you want to write against her, so does not possess the necessary traits to be a school captain. You can conclude your paragraph by writing for these reasons I believe she has or she does not have the potential to be the good school captain to be a good school captain and I support or I oppose her candidature so whichever way you decide so these the beginning and the ending here it is given you can use this or you can write your own so now the first thing how to go about it so we will go step by step and we will learn how to tackle such questions. So step one, what is the step one? Step one is to decide your side, whether you'll be writing in favor or you'll be writing against. Now, how to come at this decision? So for this, I would suggest that you make two columns. So here, this is the question. So two columns, your one column will be writing the traits that support her and your second column, you'll be writing what goes against her. So this is my first column here. So what supports her? So out of all these characteristics that are given here, so I have chosen these one, which I think they are strong enough to support her candidature. So first one, like works hard to achieve, sorry, to achieve the goal, then is less impulsive, is an average academic performer, maintains disciplined study routine, focuses on excellent outcome, exhibits good decision-making skills, believes in one for all and all for one, and helps his peers, so it, it should be her, peers in the difficulties, academic or personal. Now, this one is an average academic performer. Why I'm taking this as one of her strength? Because I believe that it's not important that leader should be intelligent, a leader should be a genius person, even an average academic person, a person who is average in academics can possess good leadership qualities. So it, this depends upon other qualities that the person has. So therefore, we will decide looking at these qualities. Now talking about the weaknesses. So these two things go against her. One is that she is highly sensitive and then she thrives only on appreciation. So when you have these two things in front of you, so you will be able to decide that which side now you are going to write. So here, favor, the points that go in her favor, they are a lot in number. They are more in number than what goes against her. So therefore, I'm going to write in favor. So you can decide that you want to write in favor. But I am going to show you both the sides. I'll be showing you one paragraph in favor and I'll be showing you one paragraph that goes against her. But in your exam, you have to write just one side, either favor or against. So now this is step one. So step one is clear. You've decided which side you want to write. Then what is your step two? Now step two is your vocabulary. So you should know now vocabulary, the vocabulary that you are going to use while comparing and contrasting. So these are the words that you should know and you should use while you are writing the passage, like unlike, in contrast, as opposed to Whereas, then though, although, despite, in spite of, however, on the contrary, on the other hand, moreover, furthermore, in addition. After this comes 
when you have to conclude so you can use the words like to conclude in conclusion in nutshell therefore we can say overall or any other word that can be used to show your conclusion so this is your step 2 so now you've decided which side you know your vocabulary so third thing is the format you should know the format so format is very simple there should be an opening line that is the beginning line that is already given in the question actually there comes the body where you will compare and contrast and then there should be a conclusion again the conclusion is given in the question but you can use your own opening line your own conclusion and one very important thing is one paragraph it should be written in one paragraph do not make different paragraphs in this so three steps very important ones now your three steps are clear and you are ready to write the paragraph so let's move on to the paragraph so first in favor so i'll be keeping those points in front of me so that i know that what i am writing and so that i can use all these points so now works hard to achieve goal so here this shows that she is a diligent so i can use the word diligent so you can have your quick notes on the side then is less impulsive which means that she doesn't make hasty decisions so that she is not hasty then is an average academic performer but then with this routine this goes in her favor so good decision making qualities and believes in one and one for all so this will help in bonding the members and then helps in her uh, sorry his peers in the difficulties and academic person so these are good things for a leader so now let's see how we have to write it so here is the passage so according to me sering is a focused girl who diligently works towards achieving excellent outcomes so this is my beginning line that is different from what is given in the question so you can use your own beginning line although her academic performance is average so look i am using the word although because i am contrasting it with the discipline routine that she has a discipline routine but then what happens how i am making it her strength so although her academic performance is average she maintains a disciplined study routine that can turn the tables at any time so with perseverance with she keeps on trying she is regular at that so it can turn tables at any time even though she is highly sensitive now again i am comparing and contrasting her weakness with the strength and i am showing that the strength point the stronger part it is uh it is uh, rather overpowering the weakness so even though she is highly sensitive her being less impulsive makes her strong contender because this gives her time to weigh all the pros and cons of any given matter moreover her belief in the policy one for all and all for one will create a sense of bonding among the members in addition to this she is always eager to help her peers in the difficult times academically as well as personally which is what people seek in a leader so because of now all these points therefore i strongly support her because she has a potential to be an excellent school captain so this is how you are going to analyze her character traits so when you want to write in favor so you have to choose her strengths and you have to show that the weaknesses weaknesses they are not overpowering the strengths rather strengths they are a lot in number and they are going to work for her they are going to work in a favor so the words here 134 so it's okay now we move on to the next one the next one if you want to write against her candidate so there again i am keeping those points in front of me so there were two points that we have kept against her highly sensitive and that she thrives only on appreciation but i am going to use a few other points i'm taking those points out of strengths and i'm going to convert those into her weaknesses because sometimes which look like strength may not actually be a strength so i'll be using these ones like a regular study routine now how i'm going to show it as a weakness we'll see in the paragraph then focus is only on the outcome so the process maybe she is using unethical ways to reach there so this can be so let's see now here is the passage So, as a responsible student voter, I doubt Sering's capabilities to justify the post of school captain. So, this is the beginning line. With this one, I have taken from the question itself. 
So despite maintaining a regular study routine, so here study routine, which I've shown previously as a strength. So look how I've converted it into a weakness. So despite maintaining a regular study routine, she is average in academics, which proves that she is distracted. So maybe there's some other issue. So it proves that she's distracted. In my opinion, because her sole focus is on the outcome, it raises concerns about the process of achieving it. Maybe she is using unethical ways. Then furthermore, her highly sensitive nature. So this already we've taken as weakness. Her highly sensitive nature and desire to be appreciated will hamper her decision-making capacity. In addition, her willingness to assist her classmates academically can be another way to gain popularity. So maybe she's just doing this for appreciation, given that she is not particularly gifted in her studies. So she herself actually requires help from others. And this can be another way just to gain popularity. So due to aforementioned issues, I do not believe it would be a good idea to vote for her. So she has much to improve. So this will be your conclusion. So like this, you have to analyze. So if you are writing against her, you need to show that the strengths that other students who are thinking that these are her strengths, actually they are not her strengths. So this is comparing and contrasting. So I hope that this is clear. If you will go and write stepwise like this, it's not going to be difficult for you. So that's all for today. And from you can Go and check the playlist for class 10th and you will find more videos on analytical writing, bar graphs, line graphs, pie charts and explanations, detailed explanations, the literary devices of poems and then chapters, everything for your exams. So go and prepare well and happy watching.